everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. This is part two in my installment of my coloring book collection. I am going to be trying to go in somewhat of an alphabetical order, but it probably won't end up being alphabetical order. I don't know. Um, I just just looking at it was time really to kind of film the next installment in my series, again, in my coloring book collection. Lots and lots of really great feedback. Thank you for those who have responded and commented that you like me ranking um, the books from the different publishers. And so I'm going to be doing the same here. The next publisher that I'm going to be doing is going to be the Belba family. Um, the Belba family has a wide variety of different three by three millimeter square books. They also have some puzzle books. They have some regular color by number. They have the stone mosaic books, which are some of my favorite. Spoiler alert. Um, and so I want to show you the collection that I have, the books I have, the pages that I have finished in here, and my thoughts about them. So as I've mentioned before, when I rank these books, this does not mean that um, the ones on the bottom are my just, I don't like those books. I like all of the books that I own. There's very few books that I would say that I regret having or owning. And it might just be because it's not in my, um, it's not something I gravitate towards now or that I initially gravitated towards that my styles change and I like something different. My taste and coloring and my coloring books change and they change frequently. Um, and I've learned that over the past year. There are books and styles that I really, really liked at the beginning of my color coloring journey that I've kind of drifted away from, but then sometimes I gravitate towards back, toward, back towards them. So if you ask me an hour from now, a minute from now, or a week from now, I will probably rank these books differently just based upon my personal preference at that time. So let's go ahead and start with um, the bottom of my list. This is the Mystery Mosaic Secret Patterns books. I will tell you the three by three millimeter squares are very time consuming. And so you'll see a lot of these on the bottom and that's just because right now my coloring time is somewhat limited and is actually about to be a bit more limited as I'm continuing to focus on some other hobbies um, and things like that as well. But I received uh, most of these books directly from Belba Family and thank them very much for that. This is one of their three by three millimeter square books and I think I've only done one page in here that is this one um and this is kind of a kind of a floral um pattern type of style I actually like that this was not a repeating pattern but patterns in general are not my absolute favorite um if you would say there's one style of book that I'm not as drawn to it's typically patterns especially intricate patterns I can do easy patterns and easy patterns I'm drawn to but the more intricate they are I guess they don't engage me as much because I feel like I'm coloring the same thing over and over and over again um, I use the dot method in this book and I don't feel like it turned out that great. I feel like there's definitely opportunities in this book to utilize the X method, which looks nicer, um, or to color them in whole, but these do take a long time. Um, but still a kind of a pretty neat, um, book. You'll see some of the, I'll show the back of each book because it kind of gives a little bit of a preview, um, of what you'll see inside the book, but that is, um, my bottom one. How many books do I have? One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 Bubble Family books. Um, this next one, again, it kind of falls into that same um, category because it is a pattern book. This is Square Mandala's Happiness. I really like this one out of all of the different Mandala books um, that they have. I think they have a series of maybe three or four of them, but I like it because it's smaller. I've done the very first page in this book. And I did this one utilizing the X method. And I think the X method for the most part, and we'll talk about that in a minute, for the most part works really, really well in the Bel Belva family books. So I did the X method in here. I just love how bright um, the colors are and stuff in this book. This one is really, really cool. Um, they're Square Mandela's Happiness, but they have, like I said, three or four of these books, I think. The next one is the Mystery Mosaics Wow Africa book. This one is really cool. You'll see there's another Wow book um, that made the top of my list um, as one of my absolute favorites because of the wide variety of different like patterns, subject matter, and stuff in here. And um, I just think it looks really great. Um, the page that I've done in this book is this one here. This is where the dot method didn't work out so well for me. So I did the dot method in here. And um, in person, this is very hard to tell what this is. I can definitely see the elephant. I can sort of see the car and the people sitting in the car. But um, actually, this is um, pretty cool because the pattern behind here is actually like cheetah print looking pattern. And I feel like it looks better on screen than it does in person. Um, but again, maybe if I had colored this in solid or had used the X method, it would be a little bit better. But it 
it's like the colors kind of blend into each other a little too much in here. And so um, this one wasn't, I liked like the coolness of the pattern and stuff in here. Um, and I like the pictures. I just don't know that I like how this one turned out in comparison to some of my other books. And sorry if you can hear my cat um, meowing. He is hungry <laughs> and shouldn't be because I just fed him. Next, the three color series. This is a really, really cool one. So if you're not as huge of a fan of the three by three millimeter squares because it's time consuming, but kind of like the concept of it, this is a really, really cool book. So um, what I like about this is it only takes three colors. So it's not as time consuming because of that fact and because the background itself is not filled in. The backgrounds for the most part are blank. And so it's a lot faster to color these in. Um, the one I did in here is this one. This was The Little Mermaid. And um, this one ranked, I think, a little bit lower in my list just because travel and um, the theme of travel is not as something that I'm drawn to um, over some different other types of subject matters. I tried on this page to kind of use Little Mermaid type colors, like the purple, the red, and the green. Um, I don't know that that really came across in the picture. I think it still looks pretty cool. Um, but these are a really cool concept book. I like the three color series from Belba Family. Next, this is their newest release that just came out. This is the Mystery Mosaics Wow Fairies. I really struggled with the rest of these books and trying to rank them. This is actually an adaptation of the traditional color by number book that they have. You'll see that one in my list as well. So it's all of the same images, um, but they're in the three by three pixel style. I'll be doing a flip and review of this book. Um, you'll kind of see like exactly what I'm doing with it, but I'm gonna try to color the same page from the traditional color by number version and then from the pixel style version. So really, really love this book. Um, I love their kind of like, you know, fairies around us, like this whole um, idea of like these fairies just um, kind of um, doing everyday types of things. Um, really, really cool concept, really, really cool book. This is a really, really neat one. So if you like the fairies around us, like traditional book, you would really, really like the three by three um, millimeter version of that book. Um, next is going to be Misty's Mystery Mosaics, Unicorns and Mermaids. So this one was a book specifically dedicated to a um, YouTuber and um, named Misty. And this one has really, really cool pictures. This one has the... Um, um, half of the book is mermaids and half of the book is unicorns, which are two of my absolute favorite things to color. So I did this page, which is one of the ones on the back. And I did fill this one in because I felt like I just wanted to see what one looked like totally filled in. And I absolutely love it. Obviously you can see this much clearer. It's much clearer than what you can see in the, um, um, you know, with like the X method or dot method, but it does take quite a bit of time um, in order to do all of that and color all of that in, but I still think it looks really stunning. So really, really like that picture. Next, I think this is probably the last three by three, like full page traditional one that I like the very, very most. This is the Mystery Mosaics Wow Animal series. And I just love this. Like, I just love the backgrounds that are included in these. Like the animals are so unique. They're fun colors. Um, you know, like the little birds and the cherries, the little snake and the donuts. Like, I mean, just really, really cool looking images on the back um, and inside this book. I've done, I think, a few pages in here. This is, I think, the very first three by three millimeter book that I owned um, in my collection. And I've done, this was the very first one that I did. I did this one back in October. I've done, I know I've done two others in here for sure. I did this unicorn one, which is really cute. I mean, they're really, really cool images. They, man, they just take a long time to do. And then I did this toucan one as a buddy color. So yeah, really, really cool book. Um, really, really enjoy this one. Yeah, this one is by far my favorite out of the um, three by three millimeter squares. Next, this is um, the next one is the three color series, The Animals and Birds. Gosh, I had so much fun with this book. So this book is a lot of fun. Again, same concept, pick three colors you can pick. You just need a light, a medium, and a dark. You can mix the colors, choose one color, do a black and gray, you know, grayscale kind of idea. And I got this book and I just kept going. Um, I did at least a few pages in here. I did this eagle 
with red, white, and blue. Um, I did uh, this one. This one's my favorite. This is the Gator. And I did him kind of like New Orleans colors, like Mardi Gras style. And so I did green and purple. And then this is like a gold Pentel Sparkle Pop. I don't know if you can see that shine. It's pretty cool. Star, you're okay. And then I did this lizard guy here in three different colors. And I just think that turned out cool. And these are so fast and so easy. These are really, really great. Sorry, my cat is meowing. Um, next, this is the fairies around us. So for the fairies pixel style book, this is the traditional color by number book. It's the only one from Belba family. I think that is like this. And I really, really like this. I wish they came out with more books like this, like unicorns around us or other mermaids around us or something like that. But I love how there's all sorts of different types of fairies. And I did the very first page just today, the day that I'm filming this. Um, I did this page here. And she, what is she called? She is called the Sweet Tooth Fairy. And I love how funky the colors are in this and like how different and unique this is. Like this is really, really fun. Um, so what I'm planning on doing um, for kind of spoiler alert for my flip and review is I will color this fairy in the three by three just so you can see the differences between, um, um, between the images. But you can kind of see because you can actually see things in this book. You can kind of see the differences, um, the different images and stuff that they have here. So some of these are real close up and not as detailed. Some of these are slightly more detailed, but just great combination of different um, fairies. I like this one too. This is on the back of that other book. Um, really, really cool. So this was a book that I had really wanted to start um, for the year as well. So I'm glad I got a page completed in this. I was kind of thinking it would take a long time. It really didn't take very long um, to color this, but this was like, this was really, really, really a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed um, coloring out of this book. So I need to spend more time in here. Next are the stone mosaic books. Uh, oh my gosh, these are my top three. These are my absolute favorite. This is stone mosaic book four. And it's kind of hard to pick like in what order you would choose these because the images really are a mystery. Um, so I kind of chose them based upon a couple of different factors. This one, this is the one page that I've completed in here is this kind of like Louboutin style um, high heel. Um, but I mean, they look like this. This one to me, when I flip through the pages, I feel like there's more more detailed pages in this one like smaller stones in a lot of the pages and I like some more of the like the simple ones that go really really fast um so the more detailed I mean obviously the kind of cooler picture that you can get and the more detailed picture you can get but um I'm just about simple these days and so that's why this one fell to number three for me then it's stone mosaic book three which actually I think is the simplest of them I feel like there's less detailed like the more pages like that I've done this page in here this was a buddy color and I think I did have I done one other one I think I've done one other page in here um but yeah this one looked to be to me the less complex yeah I've done this page here of the two birds just really cute yeah that's the very first page so yeah, so I like these. And then I put this one as my number one for Balba Family. And the reason I put this as my number one is because this is one of my 10 books to finish and one that I actually think that I will finish this year. So this is what the back of Stone Mosaic Book 2 looks like. The only one I don't own is Stone Mosaic Book 1. But I'm not sure that I'm as much of a fan of the images out of the first book. So the second book, especially I remember when I saw the ice cream on the cover, I was like, that is my book. Um, and so I've done quite a few pages in here. So, and I've done this dragonfly. And this is really my book that I usually bring downstairs with me and will color while watching TV with my husband. Like or watching a movie because I can finish it within that length of time. And they don't really require, like I can do this in, in low light. Like I don't have to have like a lot of direct, you know, light for. So really just nice collection of different images. This one is the only one I'm a little bit lost on what it is. I think it's a flower. I think it's a flower. 
but I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that one. Kitty cat. I think I'm a little over halfway done. Here is the ice cream that's on the front cover. This bird, lots of birds, frog. Did this chair. This Native American here, and I think that's the last one that I've done. Yeah. So this next one is fairly detailed, but yeah, I have a little less than half the book, I think, or maybe exactly half the book um, to finish. So those are all of my Belba family books. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, I will link down in the description box below a um, um, link down in the description box below um, links to all of these books for you to purchase if you're interested in any of these. Um, also, I have a playlist now specifically for my coloring book collection. So if you're interested in seeing my other video, which is my Camellia Angel Cova video, you can see that there. Um, I will do another collection next. Let me know what you'd like to see and um, or else I will just pick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.